Hi. In this video, I'm going to talk about the confused Kanga assignment in lab 4.1. In this lab, you're going to create two world methods, hop left and hop right for Kanga, and then use them in your program. So let's demo the program. Note to start that Kanga is facing the camera. She turns, turns left, turns right, turns left, turns right, and then turns back to face the camera. So we saw the hop left, hop right, hop left, hop right. Here's the structure of the program. Note how simple this is. Right in a loop, and here's the gist of the hint I give you in the assignment. Right, rather than write hop left, hop right, hop left, hop right, let's just throw it into a loop. Single instances of hop left and hop right, and run that loop two times. Right, if I wanted to do the hop left, hop right ten times, all I do is change this loop count rather than add a whole bunch of instances of hop left and hop right. And I could even do it infinity times, which I would have an awful time dragging the tiles an infinite number of times into the program. And note that the initial turn to face right isn't in this code. Right, so here's a big hint uh, for the structure of hop, life, hop left. Hop right will be similar. What hop left does, I'll run the program so you can see it. Does it turn the face? I turn left slightly. I turn the face, turn left, do the hop, and that's it. All right, so to summarize that again, what hop left does is turn to face the sign. A slight turn left, then the hop, which is quite similar to um, the hop onto the crate that you used during the last lab, and that's it, right? Turn to face the sign, turn left slightly, perform the hop. That's the end of the hop left method. The hop right method is similar. So hopefully this gives you enough direction and hints to complete assignment one for lab 4.1.